Yeah, so I've been, I've been really concerned about um, the abortion clinic in Montana allowing sex trafficking victims to be brought in for abortion. Um, we know that the abortion clinics don't adhere to the statutory um, law reporting for minors, and so I'm sure, you know, if they want the money and they want to kill the baby, that they would gladly receive a, a sex trafficking victim. So, Well, Marilyn, you bring up a great point, and we do know from the discovery and some of our lawsuits that we've got going with, with, with Planned Parenthood and against Planned Parenthood, there are numerous instances where Planned Parenthood has, I mean, flagrantly violated state law and not reported rape cases, even statutory rape cases, uh, and, and, and intentionally falsified records uh, in, in order to protect people and, and, and not to tell the state. Um, I don't think it's a stretch to say that this could be happening with, with human trafficking victims, but I will say, I, I mean, candidly, we just that, that's not an area that we've got the bandwidth to get into. I mean, like, like I said, I've got, I've got, it's really about three and a half human trafficking agents uh, they're running all over the state, trying trying to take down um, a, a lot of these a lot of these rings, a, a lot of these johns. Um, I I think that is something that definitely needs to be looked at. Law enforcement, I think, should be looking at that. Uh, I would love to tell you that that's that's something that we have the bandwidth and the ability to do here at the Department of Justice. But between our limited resources and just the absolute roadblocks that the Montana Supreme Court throws at us. In every case dealing with abortion and any attempt to regulate abortion, uh, it's 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 a it's a tough road to hoe right now.